people accountable. Governor, the DEP keep you in the dark. Is the state attorney's office going to enforce the law? And getting results. Steve Andrews is Target 8. Denied VA benefits to which he was entitled, this Army veteran reached out to Target 8 for some help. He was eligible for benefits that he didn't even know about. So how did he find out? Well, someone at the VA suggested that this Brandon veteran apply for them, and when he did, he discovered how cold a bureaucracy can be. He saw Target 8 senior investigative Steve Andrews get results for other veterans, so he asked for some help himself. He did. This is a veteran who suffered some injuries while he was in the service. When he got out, he got a small disability check each month. He was entitled to more because he was married. But try telling that to someone who doesn't listen. Carver Tate joined the Army in 1978. He was a paratrooper and worked in chemical warfare. Disabilities developed in the Army ended his military career in 1990. He got a small check each month. I didn't put that uniform on for any special credit. I put it on because I believe. At the VA last April, an employee advised Carver was entitled to spousal benefits since he was married. And I says, well, that's the first I've heard of. Not long after applying, someone from the VA regional office in St. Petersburg told him there was no record Carver was married. He's been married to wife Gemma for more than 40 years. He says, well, I'm in charge. And at this point, I make the decisions. And I'm not going to give it to you. The harsh treatment didn't sit well. He doesn't care about me as a soldier. It bothers me. This VA paperwork from 2007 shows not only was Carver married, he had a son. So he filed more paperwork with Washington and waited. You know, this wasn't really all that complicated. Around Thanksgiving, Carver saw our Target 8 report about Keith Addis trying unsuccessfully for nine years to convince the VA he was married to his wife for more than 30 years. You helped immensely. They did the same thing to him, telling him, uh, basically, your wife don't exist. So I said... You know what? Let me call Mr. Andrews. Carver forwarded his documentation to me. I sent it to the VA. Two days later, the VA approved his spousal benefits. Wow, this was really fast. Eight was on my side. Not only that, the VA also provided dependent benefits for his son. All benefits retroactive to 2002. This is what results is all about. And, and I feel that we need more people like you guys out there to make a difference. Hmm. Now, this is a case of a veteran who had his records and documentation in order. Bruce Clisby from the regional office told me now he couldn't comment on the case because of privacy issues, but the review and assistance came from the St. Petersburg office, so we'll give them some credit for straightening out this mess. Okay, but if all of his stuff was in order, all of his records, why they reject it, or what, what was the problem in the first place? That's a, a good question, and I don't know a, a question that we'll ever get an answer to, but you know, the benefits side of the VA malfunctions. The appeal process is broken. In the meantime, if we can assist those who need help, we will, but you know, it's such a good idea to have your documents in order like this gentleman mm -hmm. did. It makes it so much easier to get through the red tape. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank you for that, Steve. Sure. Mr. Andrews, I'm going to call you. Mr. Steve Andrews. Mr. Steve Andrews, if you will. Now, if you have a problem, this is why we put the phone number on the screen right now. If you need something investigated, you should call our Target 8 helpline, 1-800-338-0808.